Violet Desmond was a Canadian-born entrepreneur and civil rights activist in the early 1900s. Having a white mother and a black father, it was very hard for her to grow up in a segregated Nova Scotia. The racism and injustice Viola in the 1940s and many other black Nova Scotians had been dealing with since their first migration in the 18th century was brutal. Throughout history, black people in Nova Scotia were mainly slaves, poorly treated, often belittled, and told that they were the least superior race, which is truly appalling. Even after slavery became illegal, Nova Scotia remained a highly segregated province. During her life, Viola had to deal with the struggles of having a white parent and a black parent. Consequently, she found herself torn between two groups that were racially opposed with each other, and eventually chose to identify with her black community. She wanted justice for her people and wanted life to be easier for everyone. Now Viola, growing up in this black community of Halifax, noticed that there was a lack of beauty and hair products for women like her in her hometown. So, she set her eye on making that change. Viola wasn't allowed to go to her local beauty school in Halifax because she wasn't permitted entrance due to the color of her skin. Therefore, she got her beautician training in Atlantic City, Montreal, and New York. After her studies, she went back to her hometown and opened her own beauty salon, started a makeup line, and she founded the Desmond School of Beauty Culture to give women of color in her community an opportunity to get an education and start their own businesses. In 1948, one cold November night in New Glasgow, Nova Scotia, Viola's car broke down and was told it was going to take a long time to repair, so she decided to go see a movie at the Roseland Theatre. She asked to purchase a ticket for the main floor area, but was given a balcony ticket usually reserved for the non-white clients. When she arrived at the main floor to take her seat, the ticket taker refused to let her sit. Thinking this was a misunderstanding, Viola went back to the ticket seller and asked to get a main floor ticket, stating that she would pay the difference if needed. The women behind the counter said, I can't sell downstairs tickets to you people. Realizing this was about the color of her skin, she walked back into the theater and took a seat on the main floor. Viola was then confronted by the manager, Henry McNeil, and was told he could refuse admissions to any objectionable person. She wasn't objected and was, in fact, sold a ticket, so she stayed seated. The police were called and Miss Desmond was forcefully escorted out of the theater, suffering an injury to her hip and was held in jail for 12 hours. Soon, her story was brought to the attention of the public and things started to change for black people in Nova Scotia and throughout Canada. Viola Desmond was a pioneer for human rights, often compared to Rosa Parks, even if Viola came before Rosa. She is now honored for her actions of rebellion against racism by becoming the new face of Canada's $10 bill. She will be the first black person and the first non-royal woman to appear on a regularly circulated banknote. Her face being on the bill shows how far we've come as a country when it comes to civil rights. It also shows how deeply sorry Canada is towards African Americans and that we congratulate them for their braveness and determination for freedom. With this new $10 bill, Canadians will be reminded how Viola stood up for her rights. One woman's actions can really make a difference.